in the mood for some barbecued meatloaf on the drum smoker, tune in. Okay, welcome back to Heat of the Drum. My name is Steve. Thanks for tuning in. I like to always thank everybody that has liked and subscribed to my channel. Uh, I appreciate it, and I thank you so much. Today we're doing meatloaf on a drum smoker. So let's go ahead and get the ingredients going. Okay, and the first thing we're going to do is we've got a little oil in this pan right here, and we're heating it up. And what I have here is a half an onion diced. So we're going to go ahead and get that in that skillet. And I'll get that worked around a little bit in that oil. Okay, and to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic. A quarter teaspoon of red pepper flake. And one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm just going to combine all that in there and let it cook for a few minutes. All we're trying to do is just sweat these onions out a little bit. And as you can see, we got them where we want them now. And now we're going to set them off to the side and let them cool down. And now we got one pound of ground beef. This is a 90-10 ground beef. Let's get that in here. Right here, this is one pound of breakfast sausage. Get that cut. You can use whatever brand you want. Doesn't matter. This is just what I got my hands on. Let's get that in there. Okay, what we have here is our onion mixture from earlier. It's cooled down slightly. I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. We got a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. We got two eggs. We got a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. Now you could use whatever you want. I, today I just happen to have Stubbs Original, so that's what we're going with. I like to change it up and try different things, so that's what we're going with today. And then what we have here is just a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper that we're going to add in there. And now it's time to get your hands dirty. We're going to get in there and mix this all up. And you really want to incorporate that pork in with that beef. Okay, I'm going to grab a pan. We'll get this out of here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just get this meat out of here. Get it onto our tray. And all these leftovers. I don't want to leave nothing behind. And what we're basically going to do is just form it into a meatloaf. Now you could put it in a pan. You could, uh, you know, form it however you want to form it. But, uh, you know, it all boils down to just a meatloaf shape, basically what you're going to do. I like to kind of square mine up, give it kind of a flat top and square up the ends. So they're kind of, when you slice it, all the slices are kind of equal. Something like that. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to sit it in the freezer for at least a couple hours. Some people go overnight, some people do four, six hours, you know, a couple hours is good. 
you know, the longer the better probably. But uh, I'd say two hour minimum. And then that'll help firm this thing up when we put it on a smoker. Um, it won't fall apart and it'll stay together. So let's get her in the freezer and we'll bring you back when it's time to make the rub and put the rub on the outside. See you then. Okay, let's get this rub made for the outside of that meatloaf. Now this is just a basic barbecue rub. So what we have here is a quarter cup of packed light brown sugar. We got one tablespoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of ground pepper, teaspoon of kosher salt, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, then we have a half a teaspoon of ground mustard and an eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And we're basically just going to mix that all up now. And there we have it. Now when the meatloaf is done uh, and ready to come out of the freezer uh, and it's set up, then uh, we'll go ahead and put this on the outside and get her out on the smoker. We'll bring you back then. Picked up some of this cowboy oak and hickory. I use cowboy all the time, just the regular, the cheaper stuff, but I've never tried the oak and hickory, so splurged a little bit more and got this today. So uh, the hickory is going to work good because we're going to use hickory wood for this smoke and uh, should be good. Let's give her a try. Okay, so I just emptied that bag of cowboy oak and hickory into my container here, and I'm pleasantly surprised there wasn't a lot of small, tiny little shards and ash, uh, dust, uh, I should say, particles that came out. So, yeah, it was worth a few extra bucks. We'll find out. Okay, got the basket filled. A couple, like I said, I alternate my lump and some Kingsford, and I got a couple chunks of hickory wood in there. Let's get the chimney fired up and get this show on the road. Okay, so this should be a relatively easy smoke. Uh, you know, we're gonna, our target temp is going to be 250-ish, give or take, you know, in that range. So, we'll let this go for a few minutes. We'll dump, uh, get the smoker up to temp. By the time I'm ready to put the meat on here, we'll be ready to take the meat out of the freezer in there and get it rubbed up with the seasoning so and we got flame and there we have it we got that where i want it let's go ahead and get our bottom great in my dog's about to go crazy and we'll get our water bowl and restrictor plate in there. And I'm going to leave this off for five minutes. And then we'll get the lid on. Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get my lid on. Got my thermometer in there. Right, let's get this on here. Get some of this snow to melt off the top of this thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to watch my thermometer. And actually, it's going to alert me when this smoker reaches... 265. 265. I'm going to come out and set my damper down there. And uh, we'll be looking pretty good at that point. So, just an alarm on me. We're going to come down here and set our damper. And, like I always say, mine only has one down here. And for today's smoke, I need to be about 5 16ths of an inch. So, there it is. Okay, so this thing is going to chug along until I get to that one hour point. Like, if you watched my previous videos, you know that from the time I light the chimney 
the time I put food on, I always stick with one hour. I got a one hour rule. And to me, that allows the drum to get to temp, to get all the dirty smoke out, and get this thing running efficient. And that's what I do every single time. And it, it works pretty good for me. So once this reaches that one hour point, we're going to get the meat on. Next time you see me, though, we'll be back inside and we'll be rubbing up this meatloaf. Okay, so here we have it. It's been just shy of three hours that I was able to leave that in the freezer. So it's nice and solid. Now, what, here's our rub that we made earlier that we're going to put on it. So what I have here is just a little bit of water. You can use a binder. Uh, you can take this out ahead of time, let it soften up slightly if you need to, to get the rub to stick. I find just putting a little water, you know, along around it like this helps out, and that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to kind of dip my fingers in there and, and get her a little wet. So I'm just going to go around the whole thing first and just kind of do that. Don't forget the bottom. That's just as important. And that's where we're going to start with the rub first. Okay. And you can kind of tell once you do that, it makes it kind of get a little tacky. So, in we go. Here's the rub. Let's get it on here. We're going to put a good amount on here because we want a good seasoning. We're just going to pat it in there. We're not going to forget our edges. That recipe makes a decent amount of rub, so you got plenty. And then we get the top. And there you have it. That's what she looks like right now. It's time to get it on the smoker. Let's get out there. Okay, it's time to put it on. The smoker's running 268. So our target temp is at 250, 260, you know, right around in that range. So we're close. And uh, like I said, you're always going to have a swing either way. So it should settle down, uh, hopefully in that 250 range before too long. So let's go ahead and get her on. I'm going to stick it right in the center, and we're going to get the lid back on. Now we're going to let this thing go for two hours. We're not even going to touch it or fuss with it. At the two hour mark, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to put my internal thermometer inside that meatloaf. Then we're going to start monitoring the inside temp of that meatloaf. And we'll rotate it too at that point in time. So we'll bring you back then. Okay, so we're at the two hour mark. Now our target temp was 250 and eh, 260, you know, right around that area. And right now we are at, you can see this, 253. So we're right where we want to be. Let's go ahead. We're going to take the lid off, we're going to rotate this thing, and then we're going to put our probe in. And we're going to get Mr. Stubbs sauce in our little cast iron dish and on here too to start heating through. So here we go. A little 
looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it first. Right there. Get my thermometer back in here. And then we'll go ahead and get this guy in here. Definitely got a ways to go. About like that. Go ahead and get our sauce emptied in here. And we're going to get this on here and right on my thumb, but that's all right. And that's good. Get this off. Move that over here a little bit. And we'll get this back on. And we'll get this plugged in. And let's see where we're at. Okay, so looks like we are at 123 on the on the meat. So we want to get to at least 160. Um, and we'll see where we're at when it gets to 160. So we'll bring you back then. Okay, here we go, guys. Bring you in. Hopefully you can see this. The meat is now 163, and our smoker is running 248. Our target temp was 250, and we're taking her off. So I'm just going to go ahead and unhook these and shut this bad boy off. Let's get this bad boy off of here. Woo-wee. And we're going to get our instant readout, and we're going to just double-check this thing. One sixty one. Let's get it off of here. And get our sauce off. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. Ooh, that is hot too. Nice and hot. Okay, so before I taste this, let's just do a little recap. So, we started out with sauteing our onions with the garlic and the Worcestershire and the red pepper flakes. And kind of softened those onions up a little bit. Then we made all of our... Uh, we combined all of our meatloaf ingredients into the bowl and combined everything and made our meatloaf. We then made our rub for our meatloaf. And three hours and 40 minutes later, on the smoker, at running about 250, we now have a smoked meatloaf. And let's give it a sample. Because it's hot and steamy. And I know it looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. Mmm. Oh yeah. And might I add that we used that cowboy oak and hickory lump. And I also used some hickory chunks of wood in there. Mmm. Oh yeah. And I tell you what. Look at that. I mean it is it is tender. It's not dry. Let me reach in here and grab a little stub sauce on there. Mmm, oh man. 
The onions have cooked down just like I wanted them to. The spice is good. Really good. You can do this. Until I see you again next time on Heat of the Drum.